<laughs> I spilled something on my shirt while you were talking. Okay, so. Definitely somebody's dad's coming through. He's saying his little girl's here. He might have called you that, my little girl, or he's saying my girl's here. You know this is somebody's dad. Cancer in the brain, I think, or the head. I think cancer in the brain, brain tumors or something. And I know, no, 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 I know for sure. <coughs> I'm seeing May 13th. Somebody is showing me May 13th. Can somebody take this, please? I'll take father cancer. Maybe not the brain. May 13th, too. Um, let see. Lisa, daughter passed in November. That must be for you. Um, could be mine, okay. Well, do you connect to that? My birthday is May 13th. My dad died from brain cancer um, okay. and his birthday was in May. His birthday was in May? Mm-hmm. But not the 13th? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna say no then on that. I don't think that goes, I don't, I don't feel that that's for you then. Um, Martha, come up, please. I'm also hearing the name Jaren. I think that's well, somebody's name, Jaren. Jaren's my nephew. It's definitely me. Okay, so this is this is probably for you then. Okay, what's your name? Allie. All right, and you so you, but you can't take May thirteenth. May twelfth is going to be my wedding. Maybe he's trying for that. Yes, I'll take that. That'll be fine. So um, did you date change? Had you ever thought about doing it the 13th? Uh, I would have liked to. It wasn't available. Gotcha. That's what I think <laughs> yeah. he's talking about then. Okay. So you did, you were going to do the 13th? Yeah. Okay, perfect. And this is coming up next year? This coming. Yep. Mm -hmm. A lot of this stuff your father missed in the, uh, they're, 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 this is not stuff your dad even would have known about, right? Right, right. Perfect. Okay, so, and Jaren is your nephew? Yep. Who's in the living? Yep, he's named for him, for my with dad. The blue, with the blue eyes, the crystal blue eyes. That is correct, that okay. is very correct. Okay. Is there some joke that I'm feeling? Oh, also, is there a L? In spirit, somebody with the letter L. And is there a J? Yes. yes. Okay. J is my dad. And is there a Joe? A Joe. No Joe. Okay. Um, there's somebody that I do feel that's a Joe, but it, it honestly could be a distant person. Um, but I, I do feel like I want to give you that name, unless it's a reference to somebody in the living world. Not that's coming. And you do have an L in spirit? Yes. I want female and male with that. There's a female yes. L and a male L. There absolutely is. That's my grandparents. Okay. Mm -hmm. It feels like your dad is coming through and giving me the feeling of that. Um, so I always turn into what messages need to be heard now. So a couple things. First off, your dad wants you to know that he is a part of things that are in the world right now. Your dad was very family oriented. Yep. Um, family was like meant the world to him, basically. Um, he's telling me that this was a very close family. Yep. Um, this was a family that he always knew what you guys were doing. You know what I'm saying? Yep, definitely. Um, I know that there's a reference from your father about some, there's something, it, I almost want to say it's like a joke. Something about, or some, there's something about emails that he would send. I have a whole folder of his emails. Yeah. Emails yeah. that he sent. And I see him, I don't know if he would like order you, like not order you around, but if he would sort of like <laughs> give you like, you got to do this and this. Like, I feel like your dad 
you can really hear his voice in these emails. And it's it's more than I like, believe. hey, how are you? It's like, I feel like he would sit there and like type things out to you. Like you got you like, I could see him just, it, it's interesting. I think he'd like to kind of collect his thoughts that way and then send you emails. That's correct. Yeah. And um, these are things you have even when he was getting sick and stuff, I feel. Yep, okay. yep. And there's emails and, and he would really, some of them are several paragraphs long. Sure, definitely. Okay, okay. I mean, cause I'm feeling this is more than like, you know, hey, how are you, how's school? It's like, he would go through things. I kind of feel like your dad liked the idea of, well, he was, I don't wanna say he was like a wordsmith, but he kind of liked to express himself through words. Very much so. And I feel he would almost, you almost see a different side of your dad in the emails. Cause I feel like in life, I don't know if he was a little bit more quieter or more subdued, but it's like the emails are very important. You'd understand this. Definitely. He's very connected to Jaren. Mm. Um, there's a deep spiritual connection there. Okay. He's also telling me that there's something that you are, I don't know if you're worried about it or you're confused about it. There's like an anxiety that I'm feeling around Matt and his family. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Matt's my fiance okay. and uh, his family is annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say that this is what your dad's telling me. They're not bad people. They're just, they're very different from your family, if I can tell you that. You can. Um, it's kind of like, I feel the way your family is wired. It's just, it's just different. You know what I'm saying? So I, I yeah. feel that it's different for you. And I feel that you are somebody that you really want your, you know, at the end, maybe this has to do with your wedding or something, but I feel that there's something where, you know, you really are kind of wanting, um, I, I, I don't know, it's just interesting. I mean, I feel like whenever two families come together, there's always a learning curve, you know? Um, I don't know. I, 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 I also am getting the feeling that your dad has shown me that with love, I don't know if maybe you're, maybe even if you're, um, you know, even if, even if your husband or your soon to be husband, I guess, if he has, you know, his own sets of issues with his family a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but I, I do feel that, um, I feel like there's some sort of feeling of wanting to acknowledge your brother and his yeah. professional accomplishments. That sounds right. Um, and I get the feeling that your dad is wanting to tell me about being uh, just, I don't know, I feel something about that. I don't know if you'd understand that, but I, does that make sense to you? Very much so, yes. I also need to tell you too, I get the sense from your father in the living world that he would be very much, <clears throat> I don't think he would be very into speaking to mediums. I get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't really see seem like a big part of his, like, I don't feel that he was somebody that like went and sought out mediums. No. Um, he, he's kind of given me the feeling, it just wasn't like, I don't know, I just don't even feel that he really necessarily thought about that. Right. Um, I do feel that he is wanting to let me know that no matter how much time passes, uh, he does want to continue to connect with you and watch over you. Okay. Yep. And he says that even though you've had very meaningful experiences with him on the other side, like I feel that he's done stuff where you've been like, what the hell? Like you've, you definitely have gotten like signs from him or communications from him or him coming through in messages. I feel that he's, it's not like he's not present, but I get the feeling that he's telling me that, you know, everybody, there's always that little doubt that you have, you know what I'm saying? There are always that, yeah. am I making this up? Is this really, am I really seeing these things? Um, but he is talking about that. Can I ask you, cause I'm feeling about this. Um, did the L woman, did she leave you a ring? Uh, she didn't, I have my dad's uh, mother's ring uh, oh, okay. is my ring. Oh, yeah. okay. So there is a, there is a ring that you have or a family members rent ring. Yep, that's my engagement okay. ring. Oh, okay. Because I was like, somebody's talking about there being something about 
a ring or something. I was like, I asked so, him to bring up the ring in my mind. I'm like, bring up the ring. So Sorry. this lady then that I'm seeing who's decked to the nine, she's got the Nordstrom bags and she's all dressed up. Is that, is that that's your, his mother? Okay. It's yeah. not the L. That's not the L though. Okay. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Is that Annie? That's Annie. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I, there's a lady that all of a sudden came in, but I thought we were going back to the L. So that's fine. Okay. So the L is, oh, I see. So you actually knew this woman that's got the fur coat on a lot less than the woman with the L. Correct. Okay. Very correct. But do you understand that I'm getting the feeling if you had spent more time with her, you would have been very close to her. Yeah. Yeah. She seemed amazing. I mean, yeah. I, and I feel that he was close to her too. Definitely. Yeah. And I want to say also too, it's funny because your your dad is talking about things, but your grandmother with the fur coat and the ring and the Nordstrom bags. <laughs> um, I don't know. Are they Nordstrom bags or Neiman's? Uh, Lomans. Okay, because I'm like I feel that there's a particular store, and she basically always went there. Lomans. Um, yeah. Okay. And 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 uh, did she ever work there? Don't think so. No. No, but she was, she liked to do that type of stuff. It's the only thing I knew about her, honestly. Okay, yeah, yeah. shop it, yeah. Okay, because I was like, I, I, maybe she was there so much, it feels like she worked there or something. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I'm like, I feel like this person was like always shopping, buying things, returning things, getting That's her. Um, Okay, so by the way, for some reason they're talking about this. Um, was there something where I would be feeling where <clears throat> you were, Almost like, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like you were not happy about the venue, but now you're really happy about the venue. Or I don't know if it's like you weren't excited about the venue and now you're happy. Some, I don't know, something about the, the, I don't know if this is going back to the date thing or something, but it's something about your venue and it's like, now you're really happy with that. Do you understand that? Yeah, okay. yep. And I know this sounds strange. Is it possible that you, or one of your siblings has ever brought a baseball with them for good luck that belonged to your dad's. Like, it's almost like, I'm gonna bring this. It certainly is. Okay, cause I, that's what I'm seeing. Something about somebody, and I don't know if you guys do that regularly or if it's just, it's like a couple times, but I have to bring up about like bringing a baseball somewhere. And it's like, this is good luck or I'm bringing this because it was dad's, but it's almost like, Good luck bringing his energies. Do you understand that? Definitely. Big okay. baseball family. Yes. Okay. Baseballs have a significance. Okay. Because I see something about that. Yeah. And I also want to ask you too, because I'm getting a feeling about this with your dad, that um, he is, um, oh, is, is your sister having another baby? Hopefully. Okay. I see that happening. Yeah, I feel like I feel I feel like that's going to be happening or something. It's like in the energy already. Definitely. Yeah, I, I definitely feel that she wants that. She does. Does she only have one? Yep. Okay. I don't know what's up with your brother. He doesn't feel settled down yet. Is he not with somebody? He's married. Oh, I don't know why he doesn't seem. Maybe <laughs> maybe it's just his energy is not is is maybe it's I don't know. Just uh, he doesn't <laughs> seem like he's coming in as much in this reading. It's more about maybe because there's more stuff around your. I don't know. Um, let me ask you about this because I'm feeling this. Um, who gets the dreams from your dad? I think we all kind of do, but I do. Okay. Also, is there some joke about your mom going on dating sites? She does. She goes on them sometimes. Not a joke specifically. Okay, but she's she's gone on them or something. Yeah, okay. she's trying. Okay. Okay. And let me ask you about this too. I'm feeling about this. Any of the kids? I don't know if there's other ones besides the ones that we brought up. But is are any of the kids? Is somebody doing something that I would be seeing where they're looking at real estate? They're might wanting to buy a home. Um, there's something that I'm feeling about a real estate or I feel some, I, I don't know. This is coming through though. Um, do you understand this at all? My sister bought a house this year. Okay. So that's it. 
Um, and also, because um, I feel this, would you understand anything where I'm, where, would we see in something where your dad is telling me that um, he, he, it's, it's almost like I'm feeling there came a time at the end where he's telling me that he couldn't hear, he couldn't communicate as much, but he yeah. wants you to know about being able to, he could hear you. Um, mm. Does that make sense to you at all? It does. Okay. Um, I want to ask you, were you around him at the end? Um, um, were you around him at the end? Um, um, were you were you around him at the end? Like it, almost like I don't know. I just were you spending time with him at the end? Yes, a lot. Okay. And um, also, I want to ask about this because I, I feel about this. Would you understand anything where I would be feeling about this, where I feel a female in spirit, okay, with red hair mm -hmm. that, that died? Mm -hmm. There's a female in spirit that I'm getting with red hair that died. Yep. Younger. Yep. Okay. I don't know who this is, but a younger person, I feel. Is it your mother-in-law? It could be my aunt who just died. Oh, okay. Because it felt like almost like a secondary type of person, like not a main person or something. Okay. We were very close. You were close to her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And is that on your, is that on your dad? Uh, is that on your dad's side? Nope. Is it somebody your dad knew? Yes. Well. Mm -hmm. And where's the name Heather? Her. That's her. Yeah. Yeah. I see beautiful red hair. Uh -huh. When did she pass in the last six months? Yeah, May. Okay. Might have been May 13th, honestly, actually. I, I'm not positive. Don't quote me, but I, it could have been that. Okay. Yeah. She's She went to spirit. Okay. And she was also May. sick. Also what? She was also sick. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. She says that she's okay. She sends butterflies. Have you noticed that at all? Not to me, but I'm going to ask her kids. She says that she sends butterflies. And um, she says something about that she's, she's back with dad. I think she's actually saying dad, but I think it's her husband. It, it said, is her first husband. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. goes, I'm back with dad. And he's, mm -hmm. you know, he's teasing me, she says. Um, <laughs> he's, you know, he's always teasing me. Um, playful. But I feel that there it would be, you know, poking fun, teasing, bothering her. Um, but she says I'm back. She says I'm back with dad. But I, I know when she's saying this, she's referring it to like I think that's like for her kids, you know. Yeah, so it's saying, my uncle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's with him. She says. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Good. Wow. Thank you, honey. Thank you.